Welcome back to Gomer Plays Mega Man Rock Force, everybody! Last time we took on Fuse Man, who was a pain in the ass, but I got his weakness. His weakness is from that guy. Good. Uh, so we're gonna go with Circuit Man, who probably is gonna be weak to Pulse Stopper. I'm willing to bet. Hey, hi, how you doing? Ah, this, this is fun. This is the microchip level. Hey, you remember those things from Sparkman's level in Mega Man 3? Well, they got them here. Yeah. And more of them. Yay. And yes, they do get used for more puzzles than, than in Mega Man 3, so hooray. Ah, these things. Conveyor belts. The bane of every platformer's platforming gamer's existence. Ooh, energy tank. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. Gimme. Thank you. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> okay. You know, at one point when I was when I was first playing it. By the way, those blocks are affected by conveyor belts. When I was first playing it, I actually went through this area as Tornado Man. Holy, holy shit! Tornado Man makes things so much easier. Ah. Uh. Hi. How you doing? No, no, no. Ooh, that was close. You know what? I don't feel like going through all of that, so... Fuck you! Yeah. Crypt Cloak. Good for shortcuts. Uh-oh. How are we gonna do... Oh! That's how you do it. Gotta wait for these. Now, if you have a high enough jumper, you know, or you're quick with a rush coil, you can get up there without waiting for one of those, but... I don't recommend it. You know, unless you're pretty good at it. Which means if the D-pad plays this, they might try it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think they will. Uh, nah, speaking of the D-pad, if you're here, if you're watching this and you came here from one of the D-pad videos, hello! Um, you guys are awesome, and so is the D-pad. So, yay. Um, <laughs> uh, oh! This stage is gimmick. Shoot the light. Change the platforms. Uh, and you can shoot through walls. Now, if you come here with a character that can't shoot through walls, they'll just simply alternate. Whoop. And, of course, they use them in every type of puzzle imaginable. Hi! Give me that, and Crypt Cloak this one. Because, why not? Whee! Hi! And we fall. <laughs> Oh, hey! Oh, these things! Stand on them, then they fall. Good thing I have strong slide. Yeah, that, that, that's a... Okay. Now, problem with this. I have tried going through this with a charade clone. Those things don't regenerate. So, you kind of have to go through on your own, or make it through on your first try without the charade clone. Uh... Well, we can do this. Whoop. Okay. We gotta do a little backtracking, but that's okay. And hey, look at that. You know what? I'm gonna make it easier on myself. These things will probably... Yep, they still go. That's okay. And it's not too bad on its own. Oh, dear. Oh, really? Come here. Okay, this is an area where you want to use the charade clone. This area, I'm going to use the charade clone. Because I... Oh, see? This is why. This is why you use the charade clone, kids. Ow! See? If I hadn't used it, I would have had to already backtrack through here at least twice! Shit. Three times. My lady. There we go. Now we go. Ugh. Yeah. Charade clone saves you some hellacious backtrack. Ah! Whoa! Hello! That was not what I wanted. That was not what I wanted. That was not what I wanted. That schmuck bait. Oh, oh, hey! There we go. And boss time! Alright. 
So we've found out that the Shock Gauntlet works against Fuse Man. Let's see if the Pulse Stopper works against Circuit Man. Whee! Hi, how you doing? Yep, it does. Ow. So much for no damage. Hi! There you go. So, Pulse Stopper, Circuit Man. Gotta remember that. And then his weapon probably works against Shock Man. And then Shock against um, Fuse, and then Fuse against um, the other one. It's me, Cut Man! <laughs> let's, cut it out. let's cut out of here, Mega Man! <laughs> oh no, we're surrounded! Oh, that's fine. Circuit Breaker. Bam! <laughs> I love Cutman's face, like... <laughs> uh, uh, still a 166, so I can't get the energy balancer upgrade yet. That's okay. Uh, one more Robot Master, Photon Man. You're next, buddy. You're next, and I think I got your weakness. So, we're going to find out what that weakness is in the next video. So, thank you guys for watching, and if you like this, you can hit the like button, subscribe button, leave some constructive criticism, I always could use it, because stagnant water tastes HORRIBLE! And if you like this enough, you want to throw money at me to help me, you know, improve my craft a little bit here and there, including audio equipment, video equipment, new computers, games, etc., things like that, you can head over to patreon.com slash gomer21xx. One dollar per production gets you things such as videos that come in a day early for you guys, but don't come out for however long, because these things go up in batches. So if you're watching this, you might have already seen like all of the other videos already, and you'll be getting ready to watch the next one. If you're on Patreon, and you're a patron of mine right now. <laughs> if not, you're probably seeing this at the towards the end of September. But that's okay. That, that really is okay, as long as everybody sees it and enjoys it. That's the important thing. Uh, but And she doesn't do the title cards for this series, but... My girlfriend and title card artist, Becky Hopkins, has her own site, becky-hopkins.com. Go check out her artwork, and maybe even see about commissioning her. If you want to commission her right away, though, go to patreon.com slash beckyhop. For however much she puts out there, she'll do a sketch, she'll do title card artwork, poster work, and she'll even do some animation for you. She's an award-winning animator, didn't you know that? Oh my god, it's awesome. Ah! But uh, yes, and also check out her comic Otherworldly. Link to that and everything else is down in the doobly-doo below. And with that, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.